<laughs> okay, we brought you something else today. Got you something right there. Got you some more money for videos. You get your part? I did. I got a little bit. So I brought you some. Figured you might want to take somebody out on a date or something this year. You might need a little extra spending Take money. some to the bank? No, somebody on a date. <laughs> on a date. Here, I'll open it up for you. It's hard to open. Here, I've got a letter up there. It's just one of them sticky kind. He, uh, yeah, I figured you might need some some extra money for a date. So there's there's a little bit extra money again. Hey guys, hold on for a few more minutes and you're gonna get to see how much Ralph got in that check. I want to be transparent with everybody and let everybody know what's going on with uh, Appalachian Homes People and Places. Uh, I have got some comments in the past that uh, seems like people feel like I'm making a lot of money on Facebook. So I wanna show you right here on my computer how much I make on Facebook and on YouTube. And hopefully we can do this video all in one shot, except the clip when I come back to Ralph, where I show you how much he got paid there at the end. So uh, that was him getting his check a few weeks ago, uh, payment uh, for his part. And I gave Ralph $600 cash a few months before that, um, I think maybe back in January, $600 cash, which actually cost me $1,000 because I had to pay the taxes on that, that money and, and gave it to him cash. So, uh, and when I did that, a lot of people felt like I was ripping Ralph off somehow. I had several comments people made saying, hey, uh, you probably made millions and you only gave him $600 or you should have gave him everything that you made or... I don't know what they think. I guess they think that I'm a network TV uh, program and I actually get paid from somebody to do this. But for 13 years, I've been making videos and I have paid tens of thousands of dollars to travel, to buy equipment. Uh, I remember in 2010, we bought thousands of dollars worth of equipment, started filming, started putting stuff on YouTube, and, and we never could ever get monetized, which means get to the point to make money. In 2014, for six years, I worked on a page called the Bill Burge page about a man from my home count, uh, county here in Campbell County that got discovered uh, in Nashville and, and ended up in, in movies. And I worked with him for years and never got that page to make one penny. And I spent thousands and thousands of dollars traveling to Nashville or going and getting him and, and bringing him to Campbell County to spend time here with me. And uh, so I put money in for years and trying to uh, find uh, a way to eventually maybe make a little bit of money. And last year, uh, we did start making a little bit of money in September. And it's not all about the money, It's uh, but it takes money to pay for the expenses. It takes money to pay for gas and, and travel. And if we spend a night for motels and, and different things, and, and I, that's my job now. I do have this store that you see, but I'm never open here. I pay um, the rent, uh, the utilities, the insurance, and all of that. And I'm in here a few hours a week because I'm usually on the road filming uh, over in Rugby or here in town or uh, in Tazewell. And we started a new series with uh, uh, the Pickers Paradise. And and then some some weekends, uh, once a month, about nine times, well, about nine times a year, I sell at the Knoxville Expo Flea Market. I sell t-shirts. Uh, I set up and I'll make three or $400 that weekend on a good weekend because my rent's $340. So time you pay the rent and your gas, you don't make a lot, but you know, I don't want to be selling t-shirts the rest of my life. My passion is to make videos and yes, you can make enough money on uh, YouTube uh, and Facebook now is paying ad revenue. Uh, you can make enough money to help pay my way a little bit but you know apparently people think i'm just raking in tens of thousands of dollars so i want to show you exactly here on my computer how much i'm making and uh, you know my store i used to be able to support myself with the store but um you know my overhead's about 500 dollars a week which is not bad but uh, this is my ticket where i cashed out my cash register for on Friday there, we made $158 total for the week here. So that did not pay our bills. It did not pay any of our personal expenses. And I have a kid in college and uh, he needs tires and gas and food and, and everything in the world. So, you know, I've got a lot of expenses going on, personal expense. And I don't have 
any debt for a house because I, I'll just tell you, I live with my mother. I live in her garage so that I can keep my expenses down and be able to try to build uh, this into a, a channel. You know, we have the Travel Channel. Uh, we have Discovery Channel. We have all these different channels. And, and I would like to have the Appalachian Channel where people can watch family-oriented or, or at least uh, wholesome type stories about people that grew up in Appalachia and, and how things used to be back years ago. And, and, and that's my passion. I love it. And I love the comments that I get from people that's encouraging and saying good things. But then there's always those comments from people that just really kind of uh, ruin your whole day. And I, I posted a video today. I think the day's April 24th. Uh, to, 2022 i posted a video this morning and says it's called ralph gets his gas stolen well i didn't say it in the video but i didn't tell ralph i really don't think his gas got stolen i think he just ran out it's been a while since R ralph drove the car out off the property and i was in it last fall and riding around with him in his uh, property and sir i think maybe this spring earlier we went around the property a little bit but i think he just ran out of gas because he has cameras around the house that automatically take a picture as soon as you walk on the property of anybody and his daughter gets it on her phone right then so i don't think anybody stole his gas but i made the video showing where i stopped and i bought 20 dollars worth of gas and a red can because i knew his vehicle was out uh, i pay uh, for help that day to come along to help me uh, buy lunch uh, for everybody there. And then uh, we end up um, going out and getting gas for Ralph. And he has $20 in his bill foe. And I pumped $20 worth of gas, plus I put what was in the can in his vehicle. And so then I get these comments today on the video wanting to ask us some questions. So I thought I would make this whole video for those people that's interested in why I didn't do some things. One of the uh, videos uh, that, uh, well, one of the comments on this uh, video was, I just love Ralph. I hope you paid for his gas though. And then another video on down here actually cussed a little bit. <laughs> so let me look on here. And I, I started seven o'clock in the morning looking at videos and um, different things uh, to see what people's posted and this one popped up a little while ago and uh oh i can't find it now but it's in here i'm gonna find it okay here it is found it there's a lot of comments so it's hard for me to find them i get hundreds of comments every day and i can't get back to all the comments and another thing the other day somebody posted back a co i commented and i said thanks for the comment on the video they had left a comment on one of the videos i said thanks for your comment what state do you watch from and she blessed me out saying that she can't believe I used automated comments to respond to people's comments. And um, so anyways, some days you get some comments from people because we get we reach over a million people a month. This pops up on their page and you think, wow, a million people a month. You've got to be rich. So we're getting there. But this is a comment that got me to make this video. I got one earlier about, I hope you paid for his gas, or, uh, though, and then this guy writes, why wouldn't you just buy that old boy a full tank of gas, man? Question mark, question mark. Damn, explanation mark, explanation mark. Why I didn't buy Ralph a tank of gas? Well, I'm going to show you why I don't buy, I didn't buy Ralph a tank of gas that day, because one, Ralph is a pretty wealthy fellow. <laughs> He has a lot of property and everything he's got is paid for. And I have no idea how much money he's got in the bank, but he probably has some cash in the bank and probably, uh, you know, a lot more than I'll ever have. So um, you see there on the opening, I gave him a check on that same day that we went to get gas and everybody's saying, why didn't you buy him? You know, people saying, why didn't you fill up his tank for him? And uh, well, I, I hadn't showed that $600 uh, uh, video back a while back and I got so much problems with that video I thought I'm not going to show that one again but since this come up I thought well I'll let people know yes Ralph gets paid I gave him $600 the first time and then on this video you'll sit here at the end and he gets a, uh, on that check he gets another $600 so he got uh, about two that was for January February and March 
a two hundred dollars a month that I give him, and we had no agreement ever that he would ever get paid anything for any reason. And uh, every time I go out there, I try to take Ralph something or do something and help him. And I've been working on his four wheeler, and I've bought parts for his four wheelers. I've took gas out there for it, uh, different things that I've done to try to help him. And then we film it as we're doing it. So I enjoy doing it and love it, and we do it no matter what. But uh, it just really kind of hurts when somebody feels like I've cheated Ralph somehow. So, uh, you know, uh, let's look right here. I'm going to use my iPhone 11 right here to film this. Uh, I used a, an iPhone 13 to, to film with it. I bought last year. That was $1,500. I have this gimbal that I use. I put the iPhones on to film with. That's $150. I use my drone. Uh, that I bought a year or so ago, over a year ago, going on two years, that I got about $2,200 in. I've got my MacBook Pro that I've got about $2,200 in. So, you know, this is all the equipment I really need. But uh, I do have bills. I've got insurance. I need tires. Uh, my 2006 Toyota's paid for, but it's got 200,000 miles. I don't need a new car. I don't need fancy clothes. The shirts you see me wearing... I buy at Walmart. I buy, if you buy your clothes at Walmart, make a comment and let me know. But uh, this shirt cost me $14.95. It's a Wrangler, and I love it because I can put my glasses right here, and I just love the shirt all together. So I have a lot. You'll see me wearing these shirts. They're basically the same shirt every time, but just a different color. So, you know, I don't spend a lot of money. Um, I don't have any house payments. I don't have any rent. I don't have any car payments. I do have a couple of credit card payments now because I've spent all my savings in the last two years working uh, not working here at this store but out traveling and making videos so i had a you know a son in college that i gotta help and other personal bills that i've got to pay so i have to make some money somehow so it was a real blessing that in september of last year i started making uh, a little under a penny uh, a video and so everybody's like, well, if you gave Ralph $600, you must have made tens of thousands of dollars. So we're going to look right here at, let's see here. Let's look at one of Ralph's videos from uh, last week, and we can see exactly what we made. Most of my videos make about $30. And that's if you spend a good day going to film and edit. So we'll get about $30 on average. And I do have some that makes over $100. Um, and then I've had some that only makes a few dollars. So I'm going to turn my video camera on right here and look right here. This, as we can see right here, tells us episode 29, Ralph gets a visit from the guys from Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And I bought lunch that day for those guys also. So I had that expense and I had help that day. So I had about... A uh, hundred dollars in, uh, well, I bought uh, a few other things. I had a, over a hundred dollars that day. So on that video, I got lucky. And let's look here. I went to the wrong place. Oh, there it is. Fifteen, no, wait a minute. Thirty-one dollars and eighteen cents total is what I made from last week on that video there. So that uh, is not a lot. Center and I spent a hundred dollars. So, so you say, well, maybe that's just one video. What do you make in a whole month? So let's look here. I'm going to go to my insights and I'll put the camera back up there in just a second. Uh, this is what's called Creator Studio, and it lets me see how much you make every day on Facebook or every month. I can put in ever how many days I want to. So what we're going to do is we're gonna go to my earnings and we're gonna go to, January is my busiest, was my a very busy month in the fact that so many people are home in January due to cold weather. So, oh, sorry, it's taking me a little longer to get there than I thought. So here's January of this year. So here is my camera. So here we go, we made, you can see right here, January. This is Appalachian Homes, People and Places Phage. January 1st to 31st, I made $631. Well, I gave Ralph 200 of that, but that wasn't all Ralph's videos. I have more other videos than I do Ralph. So I made maybe $300 on Ralph's videos that month and gave him $200. So for those that was complaining, thinking I made a fortune, let's look at February. It had to be better. So we put in February and we go down here and... My internet is running slow. Okay, so here we go. 
$496 in February I made. And let's look at March. $517 in March. And so that's about $1,600 in three months that I took in. Uh, so the, ask that guy's, answer that guy's question, why didn't I fill Ralph's gas up that day? Well, I gave him $600 and didn't show that in the video. Uh, I had done paid for help that day to come help me film. I had bought lunch and gas getting there and I made $30 on it and I had $17 in my pocket needed to get home. So there is your answer. Uh, you know, I want to continue making videos, but I can't live on $500 a month. I can't pay my gas and food on $500 a month uh, to travel. So uh, when I give Ralph money, it's not profit. It's just I'm giving him money just to see him smile because he don't need the $600 by no means, I'm sure. <laughs> but it just makes me... Uh, tickles my heart to see the man get be happy and you know this ain't about making money i don't care about money uh, uh when i die i hope to live to be as old as ralph at 95 years old and i hope i'm still making videos about appalachian culture and history up to that day and uh, i'm sorry that this video has been so long and i hope that it wasn't a rant but i wanted people to know that hey i'm not making a fortune on facebook oh wait a minute somebody's gonna say oh well i bet you're really raking the money in on youtube that's where the real money is at so yes we do have a youtube channel and yes we did get to start making money on youtube so let me turn my phone back on here and let's just see how much one makes on YouTube with my videos. Let's see here. Here we go. $40 in the last 30 days. So let's go up here and let's change that to the last 90 days. There is $87 for 90 days. So, and I, I've not even got paid that because I think you have to make $500 or something to even get paid. So, so there's no money coming in from YouTube and a little bit from Facebook. And I am very thankful for that. And I am very thankful for the people that subscribe to the page. I have 16 subscribers and uh, they do pay a subscription fee of $4.99 a month. And, I, and what they get is really nothing except they're saying they're supporting the page. And then when they make a comment, it actually says they are a subscriber of the page. And so I don't know what 16 times 5 is, but Facebook takes $1.50. So I get $3.50 of that. And um, I do make that bonus, and I think there's a bonus there for 30-second videos that pays a fraction of a penny that I don't really fool with that much anymore because it wasn't worth my time. But the, um, the money I just showed you there for the first three months of this year, I made about $1,600, and that's, that's hard to make it. So if you'd like to subscribe to the page or if you'd like to even donate old DVDs. I still sell DVDs sometimes at the flea market. I put them in a box. I load all my t-shirts up uh, once a month when, when they have that show over there in Knox when I go and sell stuff. So if you want to mail me some DVDs you can that you're not watching, pack them up in a box. You don't even have to pack them real good because they're hard to break them and take them down and tell me we'll ship them media mail and my address will be up in the top or if you want to make a donation of any type that would be uh, a great help to me and believe me i don't waste money nowhere i uh, use my money as wisely as i can because i don't want to have to work 10 hours a day uh, in here and be here and not be able to go out and make the videos I do. So the address is up there. You can send me a check. And I'd like to say a shout out. This When I when I got this the other night, I really, um, tears come to my eyes. But a guy named uh, Randy Adams in South Carolina watched a video that I made about three weeks ago that I posted called 13-Year-Old Moonshiner. And this month, by far, Archie Bear's videos has made the majority of all my money. Uh, I'm, if I make $500 this month, more, most of all that came from Archie Bear's videos, especially the one called Living in a Water Treatment Plant. So um, anyways, I got a message one night here a few weeks ago from a, a Randy Adams, and he said, hey, I'd like to support your page. I like your video. Uh, he said, I just found your page, and uh, he said, that video really meant a lot to me, and I'd like to send you some money. He said, I don't want to subscribe and give Facebook my credit card. He said, I've been hacked a few times. He said, I'd just rather send it directly to your PayPal account. I thought, oh, okay, well, and I gave him my email for PayPal, and I thought, well, he sent me $5, $10. That'd be great, and uh, i help out. And bam, in a few seconds, that I got a notification from 
PayPal, and I looked, and he had sent $250. I've never had anybody to give me $250 to support my page like that, and it, it brought tears to my eyes, and I cried for some time that night because, you know, that meant so much to me that somebody believed enough in my work and what I was doing to support me with that. So I'm hoping to get some sponsors, corporate sponsors, uh, maybe I like these Wrangler shirts. Um, they're $15 at Walmart. Maybe, you know, Wrangler could sponsor us or somebody eventually one day. And that way, I don't have to come in and open up and, and, and stay here at the store. When most days, I don't do very little at all anymore because DVD, I sold DVD since 2008 and streaming has absolutely killed that market. And um, I still have a few, a handful of customers will buy DVDs from me. And I've lost a lot of them because I'm not here a lot, and uh, they don't know when I'm going to be here. So uh, I've rambled on enough tonight, and I appreciate you all. And uh, here's the closing of the, uh, the video with Ralph getting his check, and I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching. Lord, that's $600. Yeah, that's $200 a month, January, February, March. And then I'll try, as long as we keep making money, we should make about 200 a month for you. Yeah, okay, so we'll leave it right here, then they'll get it in the bank for you, okay? They'll, they'll get this to the bank for you and get it in your bank account, okay? And get you a little bit of spending money, and then you might get your date, and we'll take some lady on a date and take her out on this money you've been making on telling these stories, see? <laughs> <laughs> you got you some extra spending money from telling stories. <laughs> But I, I thought that cat video was a good one. It was. That's funny, wasn't it? We'll have to watch you again some more. <laughs>